Gideon is almost here. Stay down. Stay quiet. How do you know we can trust them? I don't. What the light provides. Alright folks, it's a new season, you know what that means. New set of challenges. Let's get into it. At number one, we have Hello World. Speak to the Splicer Servitor and complete Path of the Splicer 1 and defeat powerful Cabal anywhere in the system. Bonus progress granted for defeating combatants in Override. This rewards two times large XP, Farewell, Decrypted Data, which is the seasonal currency. And Farewell is a new seasonal weapon. At number two, we have Maximum Override. Complete override missions and deposit data spikes as a team. Bonus progress granted for each piece of Season of the Splicer armor equipped. And remember, you earn the seasonal armor from actually doing the activities. This gives you times 2 extra large XP, 150 seasonal currency, and some lore. At number 3, we have Ethereal Splicer 1. Collect Ether by playing Strikes Gambit Crucible Public Events and more. I'm assuming, I don't know, I can't confirm this yet because I've yet to get the seasonal artifact which is the glove, but I'm assuming this is like hammer charges so Ether is going to be the thing that we use to charge our glove this season is what my presumption is. While we're here, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button. At number 4, we have Sidearm Splicer. In Override, defeat opponents with sidearms, earn bonus progress for precision final blows. Remember, we got the new sidearm exotic this season, so that'll be good to use in there. To give it a try. At number 5, we have Icebound. On Europa, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. You need 10 bounties. This gives you 2 times extra large XP and some bright dust. At number 6, we have Challenger's Aspiration. Complete weekly playlist challenges. That's basically just do the Zavala, Drifter, and Shaxx weekly things where you do the bounties. At number 7, we have Close Range Calibration. Calibrate Close Range Weapons, Sidearms, SMGs, Shotguns, Swords on Europa. Bonus progress for rapidly defeating targets. This gives you extra large XP and some bright dust. At number 8, we have another Gambit one. Drifter's Chosen. Earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers, and defeating guardians in Gambit. Again, like the previous season, I would say just wait for a bunch of Gambit ones to become available and do them at the end of the season because I assume there's going to be a Gambit one every single week, so... And there's only one Gambit mode, so it's all going to be contained within doing the regular Gambit mode. That's my advice, so take it as you will. At number 9, we have Sacred Scorcher. Defeat Guardians and Team Scorched. Earn bonus progress for charged detonations. So this week, they brought back Team Scorch for PvP, so there's that to do, so that's pretty good. Remember, the Crucible ones depend on the weekly rotation, so you might want to get this one done now or in a couple weeks when it is brought back. And for the 10th and final challenge this week, we have Vex Deletion Protocol. Defeat Vex bosses and strikes. This gives you times 2 extra large XP and some bright dust. And that just about wraps it up. If you liked the video, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you want to see more videos I put out, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification turned on to be notified of future videos I upload. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Check out my board game, Cindershire, a competitive collection game, live now on kickstarter.cindershire.com.